morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. I am Mike. It is April 2nd, 2024. And I got you guys yesterday, didn't I? Ah! Got you good. But think about it. The ones I got the worst were the ones that did not watch the video to the end to be let off the hook. I know I'm guilty of this too. We skip through people's videos and we comment before we even see it. Okay, let this be a lesson to you people. Always watch the video before you start commenting and making plans to do this and do that. It was funny. I was laughing the whole day. You know, things like April Fool's right up my alley. I didn't wake up planning that. It just came to me. And it was good. Yes, it was. Uh, if you would have hung out to the last 30 seconds, I waited to the very end. Then you would have known it was an April Fool's joke. And you should have known anyway. Knowing me, how I am, I can't believe more of you didn't put two and two together. It was hilarious. I wonder how many people are out there still thinking my other channel. I wonder how many people uh, tried to contact YouTube. <laughs> Woo, that was a good one. I got, that was one for the record books, man. I got to tell you. Anyway, today's not an April Fool's joke. Well, yeah, every day is, I guess, in a way. Uh, <laughs> my channel on the other, Dogman channel, is alive and well. Nothing ever happened to it. But, it could happen just like that. We never know, man. So watch those videos, guys. If anything, skip them, you know. If you don't want to watch the whole 10-minute video, whatever it was, well, just skip a minute. Skip two minutes. Get to the po you got to at least watch the end. Or you ain't going to know. Oh, man, I had people beside themselves. It was funny. But uh, I'm guilty of that, too. Especially if something drags on and on and on, you know. And a lot of you, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. Uh, you know, some videos get monotonous. What, what really, really is one thing I can't stand is when a channel has a one or two minute intro. The music. And the flowers. And, and it's the same thing every time. I immediately skip past that. It is a waste of valuable recording time to me. You know, I have the little intros on my channels that are five to ten seconds long. That's all you need. People don't tune in to watch your intros, but a lot of YouTubers, oh man, got the whole song plays out, and you know, hey there, this is not a Hollywood production, it's YouTube, so, and YouTube, you know, there's so many videos on that, they'll tell you, keep your intros very short, no more than 10 to 20 seconds, well, that's, 20 seconds is too long in my book. And I used to do that. You know, when you're become a new YouTuber, you're experimenting, you want your videos to look good. But in the end, nobody cares about the intro. I certainly don't. And it's the quality of your content. Not saying all, you know, I have good quality in all mine. Because I've, I've got some bad looking videos out there. But I tried all that stuff. But you learn as you progress in YouTube, you know. Nobody wants to watch all that mumbo-jumbo in the beginning, especially if you don't change it up. Um, and I'm guilty of showing my landscape around here in the mountains. You know, everybody's already seen them. But sometimes it's a good break. And a lot of people like to see that because they're stuck in a city or something like that. But nope, my Dog Man channel is alive and well. Nothing has happened. But it, it could happen that quick. It has to certain people. And it's a fight to get your channel back if that happens. So we'll just call that a fire drill in case it does happen. Uh, I imagine if that channel goes down, then it wouldn't be long than this channel went down. I'd just go create another one, you know. But it takes a long time to build up a channel. And that's just something I don't care to invest in again. 
So that would probably be the end of me if that really happened. I just, I'm not one that's going to go get on an airplane and go in front of Google headquarters with a sign. Put my channel back. Ain't doing it. There's more important things in life. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they're heading to work or something, maybe. Uh, they watch the video and they're skipping ahead. They don't have time. But in the end, all we really have, all we really have is time. That's it. It's the only thing you can lay claim to. Everything else could be gone in a heartbeat, but you'll still have time. Yep. But time never ends. Whether you're here or not, time keeps going. Anyway, we were supposed they were predicting all these big storms. They never really, I, I, I look at AccuWeather. And they're wrong a lot, but they were right on this one. They weren't predicting much for us, and we didn't get one drop of rain. We didn't get one one boom of thunder, one stick of lightning, nothing. It all went to the west, far west, and it was moving at a pretty good click and went north. And now I guess it's up in Kentucky and all there. So if you're up there, stay safe. Uh, we, we got nothing out of it. Now we've got a nice uh, week of nice weather ahead going to be windy today but i got to get out there and start building these cabinets these cabinets are going to take several days to build the bottom cabinet i'm going to build uh, i'm going to build that outside and before i fasten everything tight i'm going to bring it in and get it on the level floor so everything is level and bust out my laser level make sure everything's good i got to do a review on that thing anyway so that is one thing if you are a channel and you get all these free products to do reviews on finding time to do them uh in a good way uh a lot of the products i have right now they're going to be included in the video usually they'll ask you to do at least five minutes uh but a laser level is something i've been needing and so I'm going to include that in the video. And, you know, a lot of people are interested in, in how to use one of them. I'm still figuring it out. But I have tinkered around with it, and it's pretty handy. Um, this wall here, the, this is the wall that goes to the, on the other side is the kitchen. Oh, man, was that wall out of square. And that's been put up for years. I ended up on the lower, it was just a half wall, and I ended up getting out there with a baby sledgehammer and, and leveling, leveling it out the best I could. But when I was laying the floor, uh, back here, there was like a four inch gap in the front, and there was like an inch gap, so I had to custom cut a piece of that flooring, and once I got that in there, it doesn't look out of square, but... I know I'm going to run into issues with my cabinet, so that's why I'm just going to put it together bring it in and then get everything leveled up real good uh, <clears throat> I did cultured marble for several years uh, before I got into printing uh, when I was younger and we installed bathroom vanity tops bathtubs you would be surprised in new construction how bad some of the walls that they build are and you know there's ways I know all the tricks of the trade to get uh, countertops level um, don't be surprised if in your house you had one of them if they didn't cut a notch that was a big one if, if you had it in, in between the wall uh, vanity or um, sink you know we would cut a notch where the backsplash and the shape of the end and you just you could put the sink into the wall and then you could notch out some of your sheetrock and, and get it nice and level. There, there was all kinds of tricks to do that. But the way I'm building is going to be a custom build. I don't buy cabinets. I build my own cabinets. So today I'll get it all framed out. It's going to have some shelves on it. It's going to have doors. Then I'm going to build some upper cabinets where the vent hood's going. So I want those to look good and... I'm going to be removing the doors on the existing lower cabinets. The upper ones are fine. I'm going to be taking them outside, sanding them down because over the course of the years, water has dripped and food and everything has got on there and they've gotten a little discolored. That is the nice thing about leaving raw cedar. All you got to do is sand it. It's back to brand new. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I 
think though my sander is in my other truck which is still at the shop yeah we're going on two years with that thing don't get me into that so i'm going to run to the shop and get my sander out of my toolbox that's in my other truck uh, or go buy a new one because i probably could use one that has the angles i don't know we'll see but i do want to bring those back to you know where they're looking good and then come up with a way a little deflector to keep stuff food and and coffee grounds and whatever um from sitting on the top of the cabinet doors that has been a that was something i didn't think about when i originally built them the upper cabinets are fine nothing's gotten on there you know i've, I've dropped jars of salsa you name it, I've spilled things. It's, you know, soiled the cabinets below, but I'll get those fixed. So that's what I'm going to do today. Yesterday was a yard care day. I mowed the grass. I cut rooster's yard. Uh, did a few other things. I didn't do any carpentry. Because I, we, I figured a storm was coming. So I wanted to get the grass cut. Because who knows, after a rain, how many more days. And it was getting tall that it would be before I could cut it. So we got that done yesterday, and that's, that's the second time I've mowed already. So I did an extra good mow. There's a stretch of land over where my well house is. Uh, it's very rough terrain over there, a lot of rocky stuff. So you basically have to put the blade on the highest level and just get it, you know, where it's cut. Uh, over the years I've got it's become easier to mow uh, that's the thing when you buy land in Arkansas it's full of rocks and it takes a lot of years to get rid of all them rocks and they grow up out of the ground you know you'll go out on the first mow of the next year and you hit rocks that weren't there last year it's something else you go through a lot of lawnmower blades <laughs> so if I got you yesterday on the April Fool's joke, I'm not sorry. I thought it was funny. And it, it amazed me how many fell for it. It just amazed me. And how many didn't realize it was April Fool's. I mean, that, I'm thinking, ah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Ain't, nobody's going to fall for that. It, they know it's April Fool's. Nope. Everybody did. But you know what? More channels need to have a sense of humor and do things like that. And I personally, I didn't see anybody do that. You know, life isn't always got to be serious, folks. Have a laugh now and then. I thought it was pretty darn good. Give me an Academy Award. Because I had you. And I know there are some of you. And there were some of you that commented, Oh, you didn't get me. I probably got you. But you won't, won't admit it. Uh-huh. You know who you are. You're, yeah, you know, you're right there. I got you, but you weren't going to let me know that. But I know there's some that I didn't get. You should know me better than that. You know what? I'm going to get you next year, too. I sure will. You mark my words, I will get you next year. And every year after that. And I may change it up, but you won't know. All right, guys. Girls. Guys. Girls. Babies, who dogs, cats, it's, you know, let's call it a video. Because yesterday was one for the books, and hey man, I love it. We will see you tomorrow. Happy trails.